Good morning. Did you know that it's a sin to have bad credit? I know that sounds tough to hear, but it really is. You know, the Bible teaches us biblical principles to live by. If we walk by faith and the principles in the Bible, God promises us that we will have good success. When you get a loan, banks look at you on four criteria, which they call the four C's of credit. And today's blog will be about the four C's of credit from a biblical perspective. I contend that if we live by the Word of God, we will have good success as God told Joshua. If we live the principles that the Word of God teaches, we will know and understand the principles of the American credit system, and we will have great credit. First of all, the first C of credit is called capacity. The bank wants to know, can you afford this loan? Exodus 2017 says you should not cover your neighbor's house. You should not cover your neighbor's wife, your neighbor's servant, your neighbor's ox, your neighbor's donkey. You should want to keep up with the Joneses. That's coveting. So many people have bad credit because they want what they can't have. It always looks greener on the other side. Banks look for people like that and they judge them on a ratio called DPI or debt to income ratio. There are two ratios that we have a look at. We have the housing debt to income ratio, which you take your gross monthly income and you divide that into your house payment. Let's say your your house payment is two hundred and fifty dollars per month. You divide that by your gross monthly income, let's say you make a thousand dollars per month. That DPI ratio will be 25%. The criteria to qualify for a loan, for a mortgage loan, is 28%. So if your DTI or debt to income house ratio is below 28%, 25%, you would qualify for the loan. The next is your total debt to income ratio. That's including your house payment and other installment and revolving debts like car payment, credit card payment. You take the total debt income divided by your gross monthly income, and if that percentage is less than 36%, then they feel you have the capacity to take on this new debt. The next C is called collateral. Collateral is what you are have up for security of a loan. When you purchase a home, the house is security. If you purchase a car, the car is security. Proverbs 27.13 says, be sure to get collateral from anyone that you do not know. Get a deposit if someone guarantees the debt of an adulterous woman. God basically let the people know, if you don't know the character of the person, you need to have something that will guarantee that they're going to pay your debt. Because the Bible teaches us that we shouldn't owe no one but to love them. So, if you are going to take on debt, people want to know your character to see if you are trustworthy and you will repay the debt that you promised that you would pay. The next C is capital. Capital is how much money do you have reserved, how much money you have saving. They call it season funds. They want to know how much money you have in the bank and they want to know how long you had in the bank. So they will know that you just transfer the fund and it's not it's yours. So sometimes one or two month bank statements or one to two year bank statements to see if you have been accumulating this money for a while and been a good steward of the money that you have. Proverbs ten, four through five says that a slack hand causes poverty, but a hand of the diligent makes rich. He who gathers in the summer is a prudent man, but he who sleeps in the harvest brings to shame. The Bible teaches us that we should always be diligent to bring income, to take care of ourselves, our family, and, our, and everyone that is around us. We should be able to be a blessing to those who know us. The capital that we carry, the co we have, basically gives the, the bank to know that if 
hard times came, you lost your job, which happens every day, that you will still be able to make your payment at, while you're looking for unemployment. The fourth C in the four C's of credit is, I would say, would be the most devastating for me when I first heard it. It's called character. Your credit score is what the bank calls your character. So in essence, if you have bad credit, you have bad character. Psalms 37.21 says, The wicked borrow, but does not pay back. But the righteous is generous and gives. God expects us to, be, to honor our word. When you read a credit application or a mortgage application, you'll see they have terms and conditions. And you sign this. Basically, you're saying you agree to pay on time as agreed. When you don't pay as agreed, your credit score drops. And the computer does not calculate for misfortune, mishaps, bad luck, acts of God. They won't. They judge you based on your work. If you said you're going to pay and you do not pay, you have that character. But be of good cheer. Even though the credit system of America was written on the Bible, and like most religions, people who are in control try to control you who don't know the word. The Bible is written based on repentance and forgiveness. If you understand the four C's of credit, you understand what the banks are looking for and learn to give them a portfolio based on the four C's, you will always get the loan. The Bible tells us what God is looking for. If you line your life up with the Bible and you give God what he's looking for, not only will you always get the loan, but you, all, you also get favor, which will surpass all understanding. How did he get this? Deuteronomy 15 and 1. At the end of seven years, you must cancel debts. This is how it is be done. Every creditor cancel any loan they have made with a fellow Israelite. So, the government established the laws based on the Bible. If you don't live by the principles of the Bible, they have rights to subject you to punishment. But if you learn the principles of the Bible, and you walk by faith, and you trust God, no bank can say no when God says yes. Thank you, and God bless.